you ever been to a trail that says no running? No, never. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a weird sign? So it's so great. Absolutely no Just running. Just walking. Only <laughs> Just walking. walking. I'm Jim Zellers. I'm Erica Flowers. And this is how she trail runs. And this is how we trail run. <laughs> <laughs> Trail running is just moving along on a trail faster than you'd walk. Yeah. So I think a trail can be anywhere. It can be in a city, or it can be on the mountains, it can be super epic, but it can also just be like a path in your neighborhood that's not paved, and that counts as trail running. Yeah, I mean, once you just step out of your house or step out of the car and you're into dirt and there's a path that you see, I mean, that's it. So I think the first mistake people make with trail running is thinking that it has to be mileage, which people often do for road running. But I think with trail running, it's better to pick like a time. Because like a one mile on trail could take an hour or it could take 10 minutes. So I think like for your first trail run, it's maybe best to just start with like, I'm gonna go run for 20 minutes and not try and get like a certain amount of mileage, but just pick a trail. Ideally, if it's your first one, probably something that's like, pretty flat and maybe not super rocky, just so you can get used to running on kind of more uneven ground. So make a turnaround time. Yeah, exactly. Like run, if you're doing an out and back run, like out for 10 minutes, back for 10 minutes. I mean, maybe that's the other thing that I think people often think about with trail running is they assume they have to run all the uphills. And I don't think that's true. Like you can go on a trail run and you can like hike the steep uphills and run the flats and downhills and that's still trail running. That's the deal. It's like people say, I'm going trail running. You see them walking. You're like, you don't look like you're running. No, but that counts. As long as you did like some running over the course of the hike run, I think that counts as trail running. All right. When you go to pick a trail mm -hmm. and you know it's a busy trail, do you pick a different time of day? Do you just pick a whole different trail all together? I mean, how fun is it to run past lots of people on a trail? I mean, the nice thing about running is that unlike being on a bike, it's pretty easy to like give people room and just bounce around. I mean, you're also running, so if you're passing them, it goes pretty quickly. If you're going on a super busy trail, yeah, going early in the morning or kind of at off times versus kind of right at the beginning of the day or the end of the day when most people are out there, or just picking a different trail. I think just generally though, starting someplace close to home and whether that's like Googling trails by your house or um, I feel like most city parks even have trails and that's kind of a good place right. to start. I'm gonna go running for an hour. So I think if you can, I'd carry water with you. Cause I mean, depending on where you are and what the temperature is, it's always good to have water, especially in case you get lost um, and a jacket. And those would be like the two main things in addition to shoes that I think you need. And then beyond that, like it's nice if you can bring a phone or a map so you don't get lost, a buddy so you have someone else there to enjoy it with or commiserate with. Um, that's what's great. I don't think you need a lot to start trail running. But how often do you go with just nothing? A lot. Yeah, yeah. right? I mean, it's not that big a deal. Like we were talking about this, you know, you take the kids to soccer practice, you know, and all of a sudden they need four breaks and orange slices and all this stuff. You're yeah. like, it's an hour, they're yeah. fine. <laughs> A lot of us think we need way more than we do. Yeah. So if you're gonna go on an hour run, you know the trail. Really all you need are shoes. Yeah. And I think that's what's great is like you Some can- Some clothes. Yeah, we'll go clothes also. Yes, helps. Yes. <laughs> I think you can be pretty friendly to the people you see on the trail. Like most people are out there hopefully getting some endorphins and are in a good mood and want to kind of share that. So waving, saying hello. <laughs> but I love it, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I mean, there isn't a ton of trail etiquette in trail running other than just being aware that people have different paces and that's okay. And if people want to pass you, you can let them and, and cheer them on. I feel like there's a lot of camaraderie out in trail running because everyone is out there suffering to some degree, but also hopefully having some fun. And As respect for the trail itself and the trail bed that's been designed. So if a trail is going up a hill and it's, it's the only way, you can't go straight up because it's too steep. Yep. So they're gonna like do a smaller, yeah. lesser gradient, go up and hill, back and forth, back and forth. Some people go, I don't wanna go all the way to the end and cut, I'm just gonna go straight through. So they're gonna cut this switchback going through the woods or whatever. Yeah. What's your take on that? So ultimately you don't wanna do that because it's gonna damage, like that trail was built in such a way that it's kind of being respectful of the environment and the vegetation and, and there might be some vegetation that they're trying to regrow in that area. So by staying on the trail, you're kind of minimizing the human impact on it. Um, the fact that someone has been out there building this trail, like on the top of a mountain is incredible. And it's like, we just get to enjoy it and there's no one else out there. Right. So. So like, keep it. Yeah, keep it <laughs> keep on the it, trail. Yeah, yeah, keep it on the trail. <laughs> One of my favorite things about trail running is just the places that you get to go. So one, it's like physically really satisfying to like run up to the top of a mountain or the top of a hill. Um, 
Like hiking's great, but running you can get to twice as many places and twice as far because you're just moving so much faster. I'm just blown away by the places that just your two feet can take you. And I think there's something pretty special about it. And it's so simple. And I think you said earlier, it's like freedom, right? Like all you need are shoes and your body and your lungs and you can just go. And if you go back to definition of trail running, like you said, you only have to run part of it. Yeah, exactly. You can walk a ton and then go back and tell everybody you went trail running. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, right? That's that's cool. I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, you can be a trail runner. Yeah. Like if I ran from the car to the bathroom and then I walk the whole trail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> it's a very social sport in a way that the fact that trail running you could be, you know, side by side or close together and, you know, chatting the whole way up the mountain all the way the whole way down and um, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> like, maybe you're chatting all the way up the mountain. But for me, I'd probably go with you and ask you open-ended questions. Yeah, that's a so, good tactic, actually. Yeah, right? And you just hold, right your, <laughs> hold your breath right when you're asking so they can't tell you're breathing really hard. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Tell me your life story. <laughs>